Here we have the integral of x squared times x cubed plus 6 dx. Now, we could distribute the x squared to both the x cubed as well as the 6, thereby making this problem much easier. Or, we can try it with UDU substitution. Let's do that. So, I'm looking for a function and its derivative in here. Well, x squared probably is not going to be my function because the derivative of x squared has an x in it and I don't see an x anywhere in here, alone at least. Now the derivative of x cubed has an x squared in it and here I've got an x squared. So that could actually be used as my function. Let's try it. Let's let u equal x cubed. I'm also going to include the 6 in my u because the derivative of 6 is 0. I don't want to have just a u plus 6 in here. That might be kind of awkward. So we'll make it as easy as possible. We'll call u x cubed plus 6, this whole thing. That means that du is equal to, well, the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared plus the derivative of 6, which is 0, dx. Because I multiplied top and bottom by dx here. We have du over dx. Well, I don't actually have a 3x squared here. I only have an x squared dx. So, to make this look a little bit more like what we have here, I can multiply both sides by one third to get rid of that three. That means I have one third du is equal to x squared dx. Hey, I can substitute x squared dx with one third du. And u is x to the third plus six. Let's substitute those things in right now. So, we have the integral. x cubed plus 6 turns into u times the x squared dx turns into 1 third du. So we've got 1 over 3 du. This is much easier. Look at this. We have one-third u du. That's way easier to take the integral of. And of course, we can use constant rules. So we can take this one-third out of the integral to make it even easier. So here we have one-third times the integral of u du. Well, this is equal to one-third. The antiderivative of u is one-half u squared plus c. And of course, we can distribute the one-third to both the one-half u squared as well as the c. But of course, my c is not changed because that's just some constant. One-third times one-half u squared is one over six u squared. And one-third times c is still some constant c. But of course, once again, my integral is in terms of x. So I should probably rewrite my answer in terms of x. Well, u is equal to x cubed plus 6. So rather than a u here, I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over 6 times x cubed plus 6 squared plus c. And this right here is your antiderivative. 